Well, has gone to the heart of government. A 32,000 strong petition signed by hundreds of doctors and medical staff has been handed into Downing Street. It's part of the protest against proposals to close the A&E at Lewisham. The plans were made by administrators in an attempt to rescue the neighbouring South London Healthcare Trust, which is in dire financial difficulties. Matthew Morris has the story. Outside number 10, their message is simple. They're here to fight for their A&D and maternity services. Harry O'Hara is a matron in acute and elderly medicine. My ward uh, is completely dependent and integral with those services. It, it doesn't have a future really on site without the, the support of my colleagues in those services. It would be catastrophic. Um, you would be talking about longer journey times, you'd be talking about less choice. Chidi Ejimofo is an A&E consultant. He's been on TV in the hospital's choir in their brand new A&D. Now he's on TV demanding his department is left alone. To hear that we were potentially going to be downgraded in favour of another trust for purely financial reasons was just seemed outrageous. It was really a sense of disbelief. It all began with a financial crisis at the neighbouring South London Healthcare Trust, which is set to be broken up, its three hospitals taken over and run by others. This will mean a wide revamp of services in South East London, with Lewisham Hospital thrown into the mix. The proposals were defended today by the man who wrote them up. Large numbers of patients will still continue to be able to go if these recommendations are accepted, and that's the decision of the Secretary of State. Um, those uh, large numbers of patients will still be able to go to Lewisham Hospital, still be able to access uh, services there, and I think that's a very uh, important point for uh, the population to hear and to understand. At his side, Dr Jane Fryer, who's the Medical Director for South East London. We're talking about this today because of the money, but absolutely over the next few months we would have been talking about the clinical standards and how we change clinical standards going forward into the future. So the cost, the severe cost issues have brought forward that conversation, but we would have been having that conversation anyway. There's one week left of the public consultation with the health secretary set to make a decision in February. Will he take notice of the doctors who went to Downing Street? Matthew Morris, BBC London News.